Hi everyone, this is Karim, Karim Baran with Solar Academy. We have today with us Dan Johnson of uh, Six Rivers Solar from Northern hey, California. Hi Dan, nice to see you. Hey, nice to see you too, buddy. All right. Um, so Dan, um, tell us a little bit about your company, how long you guys have been around, what you guys do, and then let's dive into a little bit of our uh, Solar Plus battery conversation. Okay. So Six Rivers Solar was founded in 1980 by my partner, Norm Ehrlich. Wow. And um, he named it Six Rivers Solar from day one. And they didn't do a lot of solar in those days, but it's what he wanted to be doing. Uh, he okay. did a lot of, it was an energy company more than anything. He did home insulation, solar thermal, um, sunrooms for passive heating, just a okay. anything to make homes more energy efficient. And then the solar obviously came oh. in the long run. Sure. So, and we don't do any of that other stuff now. We only do solar these days, but that okay. wasn't until maybe seven years ago. Got it. And how long have you been with uh, Six River Solar? Because I've been there you're probably younger than the company. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm 42, so I'm a little bit older than the company. I was, I was barely out of diapers when he founded the company. Okay. Um, I started school for solar in 19, uh, or I'm sorry, in uh, 2012 and got into the industry in 2016. So I've been there for almost five years now. Got it. And um, became a partner last year. Cool, very, yeah. very cool, nice. Yeah. And um, how long in, uh, so you guys have been uh, pretty much for most of your tenure, you've been, and I know you, you're a solar designer, engineering, the, you're doing most of the designs mm -hmm. for the systems that you, you guys are installing. and. Um, at what point did you guys start incorporating batteries or were you doing them the whole time you, you've been there given where you are in California? Yeah, so we're in Humboldt County. It's pretty rural. We are the last county in pg and territory if you're heading north on the coastline. So mm -hmm. when there's a power outage, we're the first ones to lose power and the last ones to get it back. Okay. So people have more of an appetite for energy storage in our territory. So we've always done some, but it used to be about a quarter of our business was with batteries. Mm -hmm. But the last three years, especially the last year, that's really increased. And I think people have, uh, especially because the, the technology has advanced and really caught up. String inverters and transformerless inverters were really groundbreaking starting about 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. And now we have lithium batteries that, you know, that's brought them even with those great inverters. And we're actually selling better than 50% with batteries now. It's almost 60% wow. on a month-to-month -month basis. Yeah. And what's the main driver for the, the option to go with batteries? Is it the, the peace of mind that comes with it? Is there time of yeah. use arbitrage a little bit or... I, I would say it's a peace of mind that it was for me when I put a battery in, it was because I knew the, you know, these blackouts and they're only getting worse in PG&E right. territory. Yeah. Um, we do some arbitrage. We have some customers, especially if you can't cover hundred percent of their bill, if yeah. you can only get to 70% of their bill, you can use a battery to eliminate consumption during peak periods and further drive their savings up, up into maybe 85, 90% savings mm -hmm. on their bill. So a battery can be um, a real, uh, a, like a money saver in yeah. those situations. What is, you know, I've done a similar interview with uh, John Davis of Solari Energy here in San Diego a couple of weeks ago. And he was sharing that with solar, especially on larger homes where the electric bill is you know, north of 200 bucks or 250. The payback can be as short as you know a few years with solar um, or five, uh, depending on the size of the home and consumption. And then if you add battery, that adds another uh, maybe couple years to the payback equation. Is that a similar math in your yeah. woods? Yeah, he's at a different utility, but I have a feeling that they're all pretty this pretty similar in California. Yeah. Um, solar panels pay for themselves because they make energy from the sun. Yeah. Batteries don't make energy, they store it. So they can't actually pay for themselves. Right. But what you can do is you, you get the system sized right for your needs. Solar is going to pay for itself in five or six years. And then the solar is going to pay for your battery too. Yeah. So maybe it pushes your payback period out to something like nine or 10 years. Okay. But this is a system that will produce energy for 30 plus years. And right. you could easily look at it. Everything after 10 years is free energy 
Yeah. And if you're going to drive an EV, like we're all going to be driving EVs someday. Yeah. So and now it's not just free energy for your home. Now it's a free commute. Yeah. You know? Totally. Yeah. Yeah. And so let's talk a little bit about batteries. Um, what are your, which brands have you installed in the past? What are you installing these days? Mm -hmm. um, what are, tell us a little bit about <laughs> your favorites. And yeah. Them. Well, in this industry did lead acid batteries for many years and we're no different. We were installing lead acid. Um, we still carry them when a customer doesn't have the budget for lithium ion, but we really started converting to lithium ion about four years ago. Mm -hmm. We started with Tabuchi, a Japanese company that had a nice lithium ion product. And then um, we got on board with Pika and mm -hmm. we've, we've installed a ton of their product. We really like it. It's a, it's a more powerful inverter. It's a bigger battery. And we find that their system is, it's a really comprehensive system because mm -hmm. they've designed it from end to end themselves. So it mm -hmm. communicates very well. The inverter talks to the batteries mm -hmm. and there's electronics on the roof. They all communicate to each other. It makes a more efficient system, a more trouble-free system. Mm -hmm. And we find that the customers really, it's appealing to them to have a system that was all designed to work together. It's all mm -hmm. the same color. There's an app you can swipe through and just look at how everything's performing from yeah. the solar on the roof to the battery to the inverter. It's, it's the first system that we found that was comprehensive, not just for us as installers, but also comprehensive from the customer's perspective. It answers all their questions for them and it does so in an elegant way. It's our Cadillac. We just really like the Generac mm -hmm. system. The, I said the Pica Pica earlier. You said Pica, <laughs> well, obviously they got yeah. acquired by Generac, which, That's is, right. they were, which is the largest uh, generator or home generator uh, or uh, manufacturer and distributor, I guess, in the U.S. Yeah, yeah, it was a good acquisition. We've we've seen some incredible changes yeah. in just the six months since Generac took them over. Got it. Yeah. Um, um, other batteries we've installed, uh, Simplify, they make a lithium iron phosphate battery. It's kind of a standalone unit and you would just stack them. That's uh, technology agnostic. It's a 48 or a 24 volt battery. You would hook it up to kind of older technology. Um, there no communication available for that so it's limited in its abilities and uh, one more brand that i do think is worth mentioning is fortress power they're kind of a new player but they're also lithium iron phosphate which is kind of the chemistry of the future i think all the lithium batteries are going to move in that direction because they do have longer cycle life it's just that it's more expensive right now but that will come down with time uh, and how about panels and inverters what brands do you use these days I'm a big fan of Q-Cells. They're a German engineered company. They're, they've got very high powered panels with like really reasonable prices. They, they come in, you know, they, they hit the same efficiency and production numbers that some of the most expensive panels in our industry do, like um, such as LG or Panasonic. They're right in there with those guys in performance, but they're 30% cheaper. And that's a savings we can pass right on to our customers. Uh, and yeah. inverters you use Generac mostly? Generac mostly, a little bit of Solar Edge, um, SMA, but we're, we're moving away from the string inverters right now because of some rapid shutdown rules changes. They're just, it's getting harder and harder to use the old technology with the new code rules. And that's where a company like Generac, they've innovated some solutions to that that are um, you know, pretty forward thinking and it, they're, you know, caught them right back up with module level electronics such as Solar Edge or Enphase. Got it, got it. Great. Um, what else would you like to share with, uh, with our viewers? Um, well, I've got some slides I'd like to share. I want to talk about the difference between AC coupling and DC coupling. Sure. All right. You see the slide? Yeah. Okay. So this is from the Pike Energy website. Um, mm -hmm. And if you see that URL at the top, anybody can go there and see this chart. Yep. The, blue, the blue line is the Pika system, the Generac system. Mm -hmm. The dark gray line is Tesla. And the light gray line is the LG Chem battery. Now these are three of the most popular batteries that you can get for yes. your home. Yes. The Tesla battery, the one in the middle, is AC coupled. And the other two are both DC coupled. 
As yep. you can see, the PICA wins in all these different metrics for measuring um, energy or power, depending on what you want to look at. Um, usable energy right here is a big one. 17.1 kilowatt hours of usable energy. And that should be enough for your average house in California, unless you're running the air conditioner 24 hours a day. Right, yeah. You'll see it's, it's a good 20% above what the Tesla system is. So you'll mm -hmm. often see that if someone gets Tesla, they're getting two Tesla Powerwall batteries. And yep. that's because this is, this is just not enough in California. Yep. Uh, and LG Chem, a lot of the time, is installed with two batteries. And full disclosure, I have LG Chem on my house because I got it before the Generac system was out. And if I could do it all over again, I would be the PICA and the Generac system all the way because just yep. more available energy and higher power. Look at this, surge power available, 10 kilowatts. And it can hold 10 kilowatts for two minutes. That's enough to get a well pump started. Yeah. or other any other big appliance and these guys they're you know they're way down here they're 30 percent lower yeah yeah so um this is this is some more information on that and it shows that the the pica is a dc battery one of the drawbacks to ac coupling which is what tesla does is right here round trip efficiency so pv mm -hmm. so from your solar to the es energy storage your battery and then back to AC. So you charge your battery from the sunshine, you store yep. it in there, and then when the power goes out, you discharge it. The Generac is 93% efficient in that. We call that a round trip. Mm -hmm. But this is where the Tesla really lags behind. It's 86%. Mm -hmm. And that's because the solar panels are outputting DC power, and then your inverter converts that to AC, yep. sends it over towards your Tesla power wall, that takes the AC, turns it into DC again to store it. And then when your power goes out, it turns it back to AC one more time. So there's four conversions in there, and God. two of them are unnecessary, completely unnecessary. Yeah, yeah. Um, and in the case of PICA, you're going DC to DC, and only right. when you're putting it back out, you put DC to AC. Right. And you'll see the PICA system is it's even more efficient than LG, which is also DC to DC. The reason yep. it's more efficient is the Rebus platform that PICA came up with. It Basically, there's uh, DC converters on the roof, the PV links, they call them, that yep. converts the voltage from the rooftop to exactly the voltage that the battery wants to charge at. So there's no conversion taking place in the inverter. The power yep. comes down and lands on a common DC bus. So yep. the inverter never touches that power. It's going to charge the battery first. So there's no more room for losses involved in the process. Uh, yeah. yeah, I was watching some other uh, content on uh, why PICA or Generac is, uh, is uh, you know, advantageous over Tesla and uh, LG Cam. And right. You're, you're echoing the same things. So. Yeah, and when we've installed enough of the other solutions that are out there to, you know, we've found a home with the Generac system. It's you know, it's comprehensive, it's really great equipment, it's super reliable, and their PowerView home app is amazing. It, it's really granular data. It shows you exactly what your solar panels are sending down to the inverter, how much your battery is taking in or sending out, what your inverter is sending to the grid and sending to your home. And, you know, a lot of other manufacturers, they have some of these features, but I find the Generac PowerView is the most comprehensive look at your total energy system for your home. Right. Um, maybe one day we can uh, do a demo of that somehow. Yeah. We'll yeah, to, that would be yeah, great. Yeah. Great. Good idea. Yeah. Um, well, thank you for sharing all this, Dan. Um, yeah, absolutely. So I guess uh, <clears throat> that concludes our session for today. All right.